What's up, guys? Neil Lorford here, taking a look at Stochastics MLB DFS lineup generator for tonight's slate. If you're on YouTube, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. If you're just watching this on Twitter, give me a like. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at lineups for both DraftKings and FanDuel. And of course, if you have not yet signed up for the Stochastic lineup generator, you can still get it for 50% off using the link that I have in the tweet or under the video on YouTube. You're going to get it just for $4.48 for your first week. It's going to be just $8.95 after that as well. Fantastic deal. Every lineup that you're going to get from the Stochastic lineup generator is going to be a long-term winning lineup. They've all been run through tens of thousands of simulations. These are all lineups that have been found to be long-term plus EV in those sims so if you play these over the long haul they should be profitable lineups doesn't mean they're going to win every day but over the long haul if you play the lineups you get from the lineup generator you should be getting winning lineups of course you're going to want to make those lineups as close to lock as possible because if you make them too early we don't necessarily have the lineups out ownership might change etc cetera, etc cetera. so uh the the best lineups are going to be the ones that you make closer to lock i'm only two hours away from lock right now though so uh these might be some fine lineups maybe we have some lineups in i'm going to start taking a look at some DraftKings lineups. I'm going to do all stack types and I'm going to do all lineup types. So I'm going to get a mix of chalky, balance, and contrarian lineups in my lineup set here. Not going to lock in any pitchers. Just going to see what it gives me. All right. So, first lineup that we get here is a 4 4 Guardians and Dodgers stack with Miles Michaelis and Dane Dunning as the pitchers. Let's start by looking at the top pitchers tool Miles Michaelis and Dane Dunning. Michaelis at just 4% ownership. What's going on there? So, we've got Dunning and Michaelis as the pitchers. Neither of them top of the board in terms of top pitcher odds. Dunning down kind of middle of the pack, 7% chance of being a top two pitcher. Obviously, great matchup with Detroit. Uh, he does have a 17% chance of being a top two value pitcher, so that helps a little bit. And Michaelis right below him. So both kind of middle of the pack pitchers, uh, according to the top pitchers tool, but also not very expensive. Just 6,100 for Dane Dunning, 7,200 for Miles Michaelis. So they kind of allow you to pay up at bats. And of course, we have the uh, Dodgers and Guardians as the bats here. And you can see we've got uh, you know a lot of lot of very high ownership on these Dodgers bats. Dodgers are in Coors today once again, so great spot for the Dodgers. But then Miles Straw just one percent project ownership. Ahmed Rosario eight percent. Josh Naylor seven percent. So kind of getting the uh, the Guardians there to bring down the ownership a little bit overall. And then of course we've got Mike Less at four percent. So it's not going to be a super high owned lineup. One hundred and forty four percent total ownership on the lineup. Let's take a look. Dodgers. And Guardians, where do they stack up in the top stacks tool? Dodgers, top of the board, of course, 24% chance of being the top stack at 21% ownership. A little bit of positive leverage there. Guardians, 5% chance of being the top stack at 7% ownership. A little bit of negative leverage, but they do bring down, uh, we've got some low-owned bats within our Guardian stack to bring down the ownership overall on the lineup. Obviously, uh, I don't want to nitpick too much because I know every lineup that I get here has been run through the Sims. These have all been found to be plus EV lineups. This one on the far end of the chalky spectrum, obviously uh, pretty good odds, pre pretty good projection here as well. Let's take a look at the next lineup. So this one also very chalky. We got a five-man Dodgers stack with three one-offs in uh, Samad Taylor, Gavin Sheets, and Manuel Margot are our one-offs along with the Dodgers bats. Of course, uh, Gavin Sheets at just 1% ownership, bringing down the ownership a little bit. Taylor at 3% ownership. So it's the one-offs bringing down the overall ownership on what is a chalky stack. Let's see where J.P. Sears and Blake Snell, the pitchers, look on the top pitcher stool. Blake Snell, number two overall, 17% chance of being a top pitcher. And then J.P. Sears, you know, upper, upper half, but still kind of middle of the pack, 9% chance of being a top pitcher two pitcher tough spot against the Yankees still looks pretty good though pretty good odds uh getting getting a little bit of ownership there as well total lineup ownership here of 158 percent so even chalkier than the last one uses the full salary cap um but overall you know we, we've got some bats bringing down the overall ownership so it doesn't look too bad looks like another good lineup I'll save that one now I'm just going to go through and save 20 lineups see what my exposure looks like All right, so in those first 20 lineups that I made, I got to 80% Miguel Vargas, 60% Mookie Betts, 55% Will Smith, 45% Johnny LaDuca, just tons and tons of exposure to the Dodgers here, our top one, two, three. Seven uh, projected exposures are all Dodgers offensive players. And then Max Muncy, not far behind. 
Jason Hayward not far behind you. There's still 20% Jason Hayward. They're just getting a ton of the Dodgers in these lineups. Now, they look good in the top stacks. Well, as I said, 24% chance of being the top stack at 21% ownership in Coors. Can't ask for a better spot for these Dodgers bats. I still don't think that I would want quite this much uh, Miguel Vargas. If I if I got to, if these are my 20 lineups, I would probably go back, get rid of some of those Vargas lineups. So what I would do is I'd go back, find some Vargas lineups. I don't see him in this one, not in this one. I'm probably just missing him. Maybe I'm yep, not seeing him. Um, I saw him. Here he is in this lineup. We've got a Miguel Vargas lineup. So just get rid of some of those. I'm just going to go discard that Vargas lineup. Here's another one. Discard. Another one. Discard. So I should be down to what? 17 lineups now. Not sure what's wrong. This one is highlighted in red. Not sure what that means, to be honest, uh, but I'm, I'm going to, so I've gotten rid of uh, a few Miguel Vargas lineups, so you can get rid of as many as you want, how much, however much you want to bring down your Miguel Vargas exposure. And then what I would do is go back to the top left lineup generator, DraftKings main, all stack types. And now I'm just going to go contrarian to see if I can get away from some of those, from some of that Dodgers ownership. And I'm just going to find a lineup that does not have Vargas in it. Here we go. This one still has four Dodgers in it, but at least does not have Vargas. This one has Vargas. Here's another one with no Vargas. Still a five-man Dodger stack. So if you if you want to get rid of uh, all of, like get get fewer Dodgers stacks overall, you're going to have to work a little bit harder to find those. Um, this one has Vargas. This one actually only has two Dodgers in it. But my goal for this for this exercise, I'm just getting rid of my Vargas lineups. All right, here's another one that doesn't have Vargas in it. Save that one. So now I brought down my Vargas exposure from 80% to 65%. I'd probably go even further, maybe actually go back and find some lineups that don't have Dodgers stacks at all. Just get rid of bringing down the overall ownership. But it's really just a risk mitigation thing. At this point, we know that every lineup here is going to be a plus EV one. It's just a matter of how much risk do I want to have uh, betting on the Dodgers having success today in Coors. I'd probably try to bring down that exposure a little bit despite the positive leverage. All right, let's take a look at some FanDuel lineups as well. Again, I'm going to do all stack types, all lineups, not locking anybody in. First lineup is here, Aaron Nola as the pitcher. And then we've got a 4-4 Dodgers and Orioles stack here. Uh, some lower owned bats, Miguel Rojas at just 5%. Gunnar Henderson, 9%. Uh, Jordan Westbrook at just 1%. I believe he he did something. Did he do a home run yesterday? I forget what it was. He had a, he had some at least some nice play that I saw on Twitter at some point yesterday. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was. All right. Uh, Aaron Nola as a pitcher in this one. So I'm going to go to the top pitchers tool. Look at FanDuel. Aaron Nola, 7% chance of being the top pitcher on the board. Top overall of anybody. And then we've got the Dodgers and the Orioles. Let's check out how they look in the top stacks tool. Dodgers, top of the board. Once again, 25% chance of being the top stack at 22% ownership. Orioles down at 5% chance of being the top stack at 8% ownership. So a little bit of negative leverage, but not a huge concern. Still fifth overall in terms of top stack odds. Looks like a good lineup. I'm going to save that one. And you can see here. So I'm going to go through 20 lineups. You'll be able to see the ownership jumps all over the place. Projection should stay towards the top. Uh, and, and the ownership jumping all over the place because I chose all lineup types. I'm not doing just balance, just contrary, anything like that. I'm doing all lineup types. So we're going to see the ownership jump quite a bit. Projection not jumping quite as much. All right, so I got to now 75% Mookie Betts, 65% J.D. Martinez, 60% Johnny Laduca. Same story as last time, ton of Dodgers bats at the top of the board. I think I would probably go back, maybe flatten out my exposure a little bit, get rid of some of my Dodgers stacks, try to find some stacks that are not uh, that don't have Dodgers in them would probably be my approach getting this much. But again, playing just 20 lineups, I'm okay with having uh, a good amount of my exposure to just one team, a little bit of concentration in my lineups. This is probably a little bit more than I want, but we do have some positive leverage there. So not the end of the world to be very heavy on the Dodgers in your lineups. I think that is going to do it for this video. Again, like it if you're watching on YouTube, if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and good luck tonight.